was, I get anxious when my boyfriend doesn't ask me out every day. I feel like he doesn't want me. Well, then he won't, Sophia, because you've got that story. He's your goddamn boyfriend, isn't he? Don't you have a story that he loves you and that's why he's your goddamn boyfriend? Don't you have a story that he wants you, that's why he's your goddamn boyfriend? Where the fuck are you getting that story from? You are going to fuck it up by imagining he doesn't want to see you and imagining he doesn't want to call you and then he won't and then you wonder what the fuck's going on and think he's making decisions but you started sending those thoughts out. He's you pushed out. So if I start seeing in a minute negative comments about me saying how much money I've earned, it'll be me pushed out that I was fearful there'd be some people who react badly. Now watch and see if I can see some. I bet you there are some. Just like Wes Watson said today, he had negative comments about his Lambos, right? If someone can manifest SPs to like her, but at some point they ghost or won't make the effort. Yes, that's their story. What limiting belief does she have? That she's going to get abandoned, that she's not good enough, that people leave, that things go wrong, that they do things wrong. Could be a million things why they ghost. Investigate your thinking. Thank you, missionary, for the gifts. I've been manifesting the loggers for over a year and I've still not won. I'm hoping it's coming. What are you talking about? What's the loggers? So if you've got a story that the only way you can make money is to win it, someone wrote today, how do I win a Lamborghini on my YouTube? And I said, why do you have to win it? And I felt like writing to her and saying, if someone came to you tomorrow with the keys for a Lamborghini and said to you, here you go, here's a Lamborghini, would you say to them, oh, no, I'm trying to manifest winning one? And they'd be like, bitch, I'm literally giving it to you. That's the how. Why are you worried about how you have the money? Why don't you just go to the end of having the money? Those of you who are so focused on manifesting money from the lottery, I'll tell you how my dad manifested a lottery win when he was before I was born. My dad manifested winning lottery because he had stepped into the state of a lottery winner. But he did not rely on that money completely and solely. He just stepped into the state and he said, I'm going to put this in and I'm going to win this. And he said it to someone and then they won. However, within two years, they'd spent it all because, as I said, my parents have got a story that you make money, you lose it. So when I was born, people thought I was born into a family. Some people in my family think we were millionaires because my parents made £200,000 or whatever it was back in the day. My parents had none of that money that spent it all, right? By the time I was born, none of that was left because they had a bad story about not being able to keep money, right? So why do you have a story that's the only way you're going to get money? Get rid of that. Lottery people, people obsessed with lottery, 80% of people who win lotteries lose the money because their money mindset's so bad. That's why they were relying on the lottery in the fucking first place. Were you ever in debt? How did you get out of it? I have actually manifested away debt before, almost magically, completely by accident. I remember being obsessed with debt as a student, my student debt, and I remember asking... Um, at this convention thing we had or someone came in to talk about finance when we're at university and I said, how can I not pay my student loan? I don't want to pay this. What can I do? Go bankrupt? I'm not fucking paying this. In Germany, you don't have to pay student fees. This is ridiculous in Australia. We have to pay this. I'm not paying tens of thousands of dollars of student debt. I think it was like $50,000. I'm not paying it. How do I get out of it? He said, you'd have to be dead. And I said, is that it? I can't go bankrupt. He goes, no, nah. you'd have to die. Guess what happened? A couple of years later, or about two years later when I graduated, my dad made the mistake of putting money in my account without telling me. And I was on unemployment benefit at the time because I just got out of uni and I was an actor and I just, everyone went on unemployment. It's just what you did. I'd never wanted to go on unemployment, but everyone did it. So I just was like, I'll do it for a couple of months. And he made me lose my unemployment benefit by sticking money in my bank to like, I don't know why he was putting money in other people's accounts with something to dodge. Anyway. So I lost my employment benefit. And then because money had gone in my account, my hex debt got triggered, my student debt got triggered, and I had to start paying off this debt because he put all this money, I think it was more than 10000 he put all this money in my account and I said, well, good one, Dad. Now I have to pay my student loan on money I don't even have. And he went, oh, no, I'll pay it. And my dad paid all my student loan off because he felt so bad. So I manifested that. I didn't have to die, <laughs> right? I just imagine I have no student loan debt. I don't have that debt. I'm not ever going to pay that. I'm not paying that. I kept saying, I'm not paying it, <laughs> and I didn't. So that's how I did it. Just imagine not paying it or it paid. You understand? 
I didn't know how it was going to happen. How would I have devised? This is what Neville says when you can't devise the means. How would I have devised the means that my dad would put money in my account, I'd lose my unemployment, my hex debt would be triggered, and then he'd have to pay it? I couldn't have thought of all of those things. It just happened that way. That's a bridge of incidents. Oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you, guys, for the roses and the gifts. You look beautiful, Jayles. Oh, thank you, darling. Hang on, guys. Thank you for sharing that, Lois. You're so inspiring to you. Oh, thank you. How do you even manifest your ex back if you're blocked and in no contact? Well, first of all, Heather, you don't call them your ex, okay? You start calling them your specific person because you focus on being together still and not breaking up or getting back together. You don't call them your ex. Why do you think everyone in here on the manifestation community videos say specific person? You're not referring to them as your ex. You've got to be living in the state of having, not in the state of wanting. If you keep saying ex, you're in the state of they're not with me, they're my ex. So you do that for a start. Oh, thank you, darling, for the new universe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then you focus on being together, please. Hi, Vicky Lou. Wow, amazing, Loz. You deserve everything for all the things you do for us. Oh, thank you, darling. How can I get rid of a third party and bring back SP? We were both friends of benefits, but I want a relationship. Well, you probably got yourself in a friends of benefits situation in the first place, like I was talking about the girl that was my beautician at the beginning of this story where she didn't feel good enough about herself, therefore she got herself in friends of benefits in the first place. So you've literally made a specific person choose someone else over you because in the beginning you didn't feel chosen. That's why you weren't chosen for the relationship even though you want it. So your story about yourself not being good enough and other girls being better than you or your specific person being above you and on a pedestal has caused not only you not to get the relationship but then another person to come along because you feel unchosen. So feel chosen, decide you're chosen, change the story of you and he'll change. And that bitch will go away. How can I change that? I get super triggered. I know it's all self-concept. What are you talking about, Sophia? I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's self-concept, darling. It's actually a motivation. Oh, is that me talking about my money? Okay, good. How can I get, oh, I saw that one. Laws, what fear do I have if I feel threatened, scared when SP bought a new house? Do you feel like you're never going to move in with him? Do you feel like you're not going to build a house together? Do you feel like he's making decisions without you? Where's it come from? Happy for you, Loz. Oh, thank you, Lenny. Congratulations on making your money. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, my God, haven't caught you live in months. Oh, thank you. I know I'm live a bit more now. Affirm that people don't lose interest. It's a fact that people love me in their life. Yes, say that. Loz, you look incredible. Oh, thank you, darling. I had my eyebrows done today. My hair's gone bouffant because I did it in a clip. That shows a lot about these people and their self-concept lol. Yes, so... Save with the example of Wes Watson. Wes Watson, who's really amazing, guys, and go and watch him. We talk very similarly about stuff. He does talk about karmic debt and stuff, which obviously is just thought reflection, but he's a really inspirational guy. And I only discovered him, I think, about two months ago when my brother showed me him and said, this is you, except covered in tattoos and sh doing similar shouting. <laughs> I was like, we're very similar. Um, anyway, he's very inspirational because he came from nothing, came from prison. And yet he still has people not being happy for him. He even said today in his stories, even family members. So that's actually not reflecting their self-concept. It's reflecting his self-concept that he thinks people won't be happy for him, which is a shame. That's incredible. Oh, thank you, darling. Sod the haters. You go, girl. Proud of you. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Do not feel guilty, Lois. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Queen. Miss you. Oh, thank you, Grayson. Why do I get bullied in each job when I work well? Well, you've probably got a story that you get bullied and that's the story. So it keeps happening in every single job and it doesn't matter. It's like taking a child out of one school because it got bullied, put them in another school, they get bullied again. It's their self-concept about themselves. I'm not good enough. I get picked on. People pick on me. I'm different from everybody else. People don't like me. And then they'll reflect that. Okay, so change the story about you. Should I work solely on self-concept affirmations or a bit of SP affirmations? Darling, if you're focusing on them all the time and you can't help yourself, then say the SP affirmations, of course. Yes, yeah, sure. But it's self-concept you have to work on. Thank you for all the prizes and gifts and stuff. Darling, I'm next. Yes, say I'm next, guys. Yes, it's an example. Yes. I needed this live chat. Oh, good, Vicky Lou. Well done, Loz. You deserve... What's this say? Ah, oh, you deserve to be filthy rich. Oh, thank you, darling. Who sent me that drama? I missed it. Who was that? Also, people leave and upset them, arguments, etc. I've done the subconscious course, but I have all the fears. People leave and upset them. What are you talking about? So if people leave still, you've still got some abandonment shit or you're not good enough and they're going to leave and you keep getting in arguments, you've got a story that you upset people. So change that, darling. You totally deserve it. I'll watch you when you stated and broke so inspiring. Yes, when you started and broke. Yes, <laughs> when I started, I was broke. I had a clothing business, remember? I had a clothing business in my house. I had to sell it all because this took off. That's exactly what I was thinking. I recently felt like starting painting again and now I'm going to. Good, darling, do. Yay, Lois, I'm so proud of you. Well done. Ah, thank you, darling. As someone who booked one-to-one, -one, US in your group, bought both your courses, please take more of my 
money because you help more than therapy for years. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> thank you very much. Open my Etsy shop. So I thought I'm next when you mention that. Good. Open your own Etsy shop. Oh, wonderful. Well, as I manifest my SP back, th spoke three weeks, then combo died. I haven't spoken in a week. Why are you saying the combo died? Why are you saying that? Stop saying that. See yourselves together. Stop saying it died. Stop manifesting that. How can I get rid of it? Oh, guys, why are you repeating your question? Well earned, Loz. It's all you. Inspirational. Oh, thank you, darling. Look, and I remember seeing that Shelley Bullard video and thinking, wow, I can't believe she's actually saying that. And so for me to even say that out loud at the beginning of this video is kind of shocking for me that I would even say it because I was slightly concerned about people's reaction, right? But now I should feel proud of myself and proud of my business and proud that I've got 10 employees and a booming business and but I've still, I know I've still got money mindset things to work on, especially about keeping money. It's like if you get your specific person back and then you lose them. It's the keeping them that matters. It's the keeping the money that matters, right? So I know I've still got that area to work on for myself based on what I told you about my self-concept from childhood. Do you understand? The jealous of you. Oh, yes. You know, well, because people can be, guys, if you have that story, then they will be. Oh, thank you, Kat, darling. You know, in terms of living in the end, it is all about imagination and affirmations. Guys, just live in the end of whatever it is you want. But I've been manifesting laws being a millionaire. Oh, you have, Kay. I know you have. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> you keep saying that. Yeah. I'm not sure what I exactly want to do with my SP. Should I manifest contact just to stay in touch? Guys, if you don't know what to do with your SP, you've got to go to the end of being with them. Why are you just trying to get little contacts and texts and in touch. Don't you want to go to the end of being together? You're manifesting all wrong. You're worried about the middle and the how and the contact. Please go and watch every video I've ever made about no contact. You deserve every cent. Oh, thank you, darling. See how nice these comments are? I haven't manifested nasty comments. Maybe I'll read one in a minute. SP unblocked me, but his girlfriend blocked me. What should I say to myself to make me feel confident with it? Well, if his girlfriend blocked you, decide she's threatened by you because she knows he loves you. Decide that. Jenna is an angel. Yes, she is. It's a fantastic course. Oh, thank you, darling. Loz, I manifest SP back, spoke three weeks. Guys, why are you repeating yourself? I always get to the questions at the end. I've been affirming all week to hear good things about money and boom, here it is. Oh, good, darling. What a nice surprise. See you today. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, Kay. So proud of you. I bought most of your courses. You were there for me on my darkest days. Oh, thank you, darling. Can you manifest health? Guys, of course you can. You can manifest anything. You are manifesting your health right now. You've manifested your bad health, unfortunately. I also have a course called Manifest Health. Go and do that. Or listen to my sleep tape, my Joseph Murphy healing prayer. It's manifest health overnight. Or use my healing affirmations, my um, health affirmations. Oh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. How to manifest someone to love me. Well, stop assuming they don't, darling. Go and watch every single video I've ever made about a specific person. You're worth the money, Loz. Oh, thank you, darling. Loz, I manifested the best boyfriend ever with your help. He has every quality I wanted. Oh, very wonderful. You did that. Oh, why does my phone keep moving? Sorry, guys. Hi, thank you for your teaching. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. How can I get... Oh, guys, why are you repeating your questions? Loz, SPC, she's not interested in same-sex relationships. How do I go about this? Just see yourselves together. It doesn't matter what she said. She's reflecting you. Do you have a story that she's not gay enough? That's why. You've got a story that she wants other girls that doesn't want you or whatever? Loz, do the four fears apply to all areas of what you're trying to manifest? Absolutely everything, guys. So the fears in my courses assessments in the love course and the worthy um worthy af for love and a kick ass you my self concept course i assess your fears right there are four major fe major fears and each of you will have some of them and they affect every area of your life whether it's money career love friendships family relationships health everything everything yeah that's even cheap these days no value for money anymore guys honestly I undervalued myself and my squad. I mean, my squad is $35 a month. I give you mini courses every month. You watch the coaching sessions. I go live every week and there's mentors. <laughs> like people go, why is it so cheap? Some people probably look at my squad. Oh, thank you, Sarah, and think, what's wrong with it? Sometimes if you undervalue yourself, people go, why is she so cheap? Isn't she any good? <laughs> right? So you've got to be careful the way you value yourselves, guys. Sometimes you can undervalue yourselves and people will actually look at you in a negative way because you've undervalued yourself. And I've done that my whole life. I remember I created a theatre company once and I sold the tickets for $12 and we only just broke even with all the expenses. And, and we sold out every ticket. I sold out all the merchandise. We were in every newspaper. People were trying to steal the company from me when I moved to England. 
And I thought, why didn't I charge like five times the price? People would have paid for it. But I had a bad money mindset, thought, oh, people only pay 12 bucks. I actually could have charged 30 bucks and they all would have paid. And I would have had the same sellout show. What an idiot. It was my money mindset. My self-concept about me got reflected in the way I charged low for the tickets. Right? What's this, Jasmine? What are you talking about? A badger. What are we talking about? So as I manifest my ESP back, spoke through ESP. Guys, why are you repeating yourselves? Hey, Laws, new profile picked. It's Lisa. I just messaged you on Facebook. So much good news. Oh, you messaged me on Facebook. Oh, I can't wait to read it. Bald badger, another great Lozism. I honestly, is that what I said? That's what I look like. <laughs> she robbed me. Like she says in Sex and City, I was robbed. <laughs> so you're saying you cannot be both. Be both what, darling? How can I get rid of third party and bring... Oh, guys, why are you repeating your questions? It's reeking of desperation here. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling. She sounds like the old version of me, your old beautician. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sasha is so lovely. Guys, please go and watch I Am Sasha Official on YouTube and TikTok if you haven't followed her yet. She's such a lovely person and an excellent, excellent coach. And we speak very similarly about everything. Mm -hmm. Love your hair. So beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling. How do I manifest a high salary? Well, see yourself with a high salary, see yourself getting a promotion, see yourself bragging to people about your new salary, see yourself in a different office with a view and see yourself with a different car. Whatever would imply you have a new salary, a higher salary. Mm -hmm. Guys, stop repeating your questions. So annoying. Yes. My self-concept is affecting all areas of my life. It is with all of you guys. Hang on, guys. Where are we? I'm kicking butt this year because of you, Loz. Oh, thank you, Heather. Only robotic affirmations work for me. Oh, all right, darling. So you've got all your all your manifestations have come in, have they? Because you're talking to yourself like a robot all fucking day. How long are you going to do that for? You're going to do that to your 85, sitting around all day, on the hour, every hour, robotically affirming? I don't think that's sustainable, darling. Do you? There are much easier ways to manifest. Um... um your money magnet course was game changer for me with money. Oh, good case. So, guys, it's a very in-depth course, even though it says mini course, money magnet. It's only 95 bucks. Been talking about rentals and then got an email from an old real estate agent. I'll take it to the land. Do that, darling. My neighbour even said to me today, I said, oh, yesterday I said, oh, they're putting the house on the market next door in a couple of days. He goes, are you going for it? That must be my story that I'm going to buy a house soon because – even my neighbour said, and he wouldn't even think I would even buy it. Like, I don't know what, we've never had a conversation about that. He's reflecting that I'm going to buy a house in this area. <laughs> yes, I had a terrible self-concept with money. Oh, so did I, okay. Why do you think I was living off beans last year? I've been offered two jobs this week, but both are not paying enough money. Self-concept is my issue. It's always the issue if you're not getting paid enough, guys. Like the beautician I was talking about is so fucking good at her job. She wasn't charging enough. I'm like, hi, everyone, I like it. Jenna is an angel, Yes. SP did the same last year and came straight back, but is on holiday, they're moving away for work. So say, so say what? Darling, stop thinking he goes away all the time. What's your story about you? In love. Buy a Porsche more reliable. <laughs> what than a Lambo? I don't think I want a Lambo. I don't like Lamborghinis. Ferrari, maybe. My story is that people always wonder how I have so much money and I always have money. Well, if that's your story, then you'll always have money because you've got a story, I always have money. Excellent, darling. You've got an excellent self-concept with money. You deserve all the world. Loves. Oh, thank you, darling. Child of Italy, oh, child. Money makes me anxious for some reason. Well, what's your story about money from childhood? What were your parents like with money? What did you see with money as a child growing up? Mm -hmm. How to stop thinking about SP being with someone in between your relationship, we're back together now. Stop worrying about it, darling. Be like, we're on a break, who cares? Doesn't matter, he's with me now. Put it out of your mind, please. Go to the end of what you want. You're amazing, Loz. You're fucking worth every cent. I spent on the courses and the squad. Oh, thank you, Sharona, darling. I was taught to feel ashamed of having more than others. Well, then you will. Because if you came from a religious background and told that to be, you know, pious is the way to be and money is the root of all evil, and guess what, how much money the churches are making off you by selling you that fucking shit. You know when you go to, like, the Sistine Chapel and places like the Vatican, you go into the Vatican and the marble on the floor was stolen from the Colosseum. They're so fucking pious and godly that they stole things from the pagans that's how religious and godlike they are it's full of stolen goods the vatican 
And then when you walk in, they have the fucking audacity to ask you for cash donation as you walk in. And yet they're telling you to be pious. Think about how much money they're making off of that teaching. I lose savings because, yes, I've seen that happen. I do, however, have money for what I need. Okay, so decide you have more than what you need. Stop having that story of I just get what I need. I can only have what I need, Lenny. Yes, I agree. I'm abundant, so my energy is high, so money comes to me. Good, darling, good. That makes so much sense. My mum was a struggling single mum and she laughs and said, I'm her now. Dreamed of my mum's pay. Oh, good darling. I'm studying for college exam. What's the secret of being successful at exams? See yourself as passed. See yourself as graduated. See, go to right to the end of whatever would happen if you graduated and passed exams. Affirmations to manifest money to invest in a business. Well, go to the end of having a successful business. You don't really need the affirmations. What you need to do is imagine a successful business. So I have a booming business course, darling, and there are affirmations in that if you want those. But you could say things like, my business is booming. I have so many clients. I am overrun with clients. I have to hire staff. I've got so many clients. I've got so many sales. I'm running out of stock. Whatever the thing is, imagine the end. I was having a new SP. He treats me exactly how I deserve it. He's absolutely amazing to me. Oh, hello, wonderful. Hee <laughs> hee. Good for you, darling. Hang guys, I'm almost at the end. I'm getting that today. Oh, good. How do you make money without a job and not knowing what business you want to have? Just go to the end of having money. You don't know how it's going to come about, where it's going to come from. It could be business, a donation, someone buys you something. You don't know how. Just go to the end. Thoughts on having to work for money, thoughts on having to earn money. So a lot of people think you have to work hard for money. Money, you know, doesn't come, doesn't grow on trees or whatever the fuck I used to hear as a kid. It's not true. Look how many people in the world have inheritances, don't work, are retired and make a shit ton of money. How come they can think that way and have that and you have to work hard? Just your belief. I want to be a millionaire. What's this? Hang on. Missed it. Oh, where is it? Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I've lost this now. It's just jumped. God damn it. Repeating your questions, just repeating the old story over and over. Yes, please. Stop doing that, guys. I finally understood you manifest what you are, not what you want. Oh, good, Charlotte. Glad the pennies dropped. It's only taken you two years. Um, why is it easier to manifest SP rather than money? Because that's your story. Why are you saying that? Some people find the money harder. My SP only wants to be friends. Well, then he will because you believe that, darling. Hey, Lois, can I buy your course if I'm 16? Yes, darling, absolutely. It's for everyone. Lois and Sasha are the only coaches teaching manifestation correctly. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Yes, I love her, Sasha, we're talking about, yes. Hang on, where is this? I want to be a millionaire without doing a lot. Best advice. So you're not going to become a millionaire due to Zen Judaism because you want to be it. So if you listen to the beginning of this video where I talked about making a million dollars by the end of this year, I stepped into the state of that. I imagined I would be that. I didn't want it. I was it. There's a big difference. Listen to what I just said. If we lose a pregnancy, then I make that happen. Darling, unfortunately, it's a really sad fact that you will hear stories about miscarriages, hear stories about infertility, hear stories. You have to turn off all those stories. Remember in Sex and the City when Charlotte goes to the acupuncturist for fertility and there's noise outside and there's protests and he says, Charlotte, you must turn off all the noise. It's exactly the same. So unfortunately, we're fed stories all the time about miscarriages or safety in pregnancy or scans even make you feel like there might be something wrong with your baby. So it plants a seed in your mind that you've got to be safe and things could go wrong and therefore they go wrong because that seed has been planted in your mind unconsciously, unfortunately. So what you need to do, darling, is go to the end of being a happy, uh, happy being a mum with a happy, healthy baby. Go to the end of having your baby. Imagine your baby's first birthday or 18th birthday or sweet sixteen. Go right to the end of being a mum and don't worry about that middle part or what's happened before. And don't beat yourself up, please. My sex fantasy manifested last week, sleeping with a taxi driver and someone came in to report that. Oh, really, Jess? <laughs> How can I stop looking for validation? Well, why are you doing that, darling? You mean in the 3D, with your 3D reality? Or do you mean you desperately seek validation from other people because you need to hear the words and feel like your needs won't be met so you need to hear it? Hang on, guys. Met an SP because my self-concept is that bomb. He has 86 out of my 86 wish list. Oh, 86 wish list. Amazing. 
How do we live in the end to avoid obsessing with the SP? Well, just go to the end in your mind. Live in scenes in your mind as much as possible, having what you want rather than obsessing over them. I'm having difficulty manifesting my SP. Well, then you will, darling, because you're saying that. Stop saying that. Imagine it's easy. Say it's easy. I watch podcasts on relationship and it made me angry about my choices in men. Well, stop fucking listening to them. Guys, if you're listening to any dating coaches and you're beating yourself up about your choices, you've got to understand that every single guy you dated was reflecting your story about you. Go and watch all my videos about love, please, and manifesting a specific person. Every time I watch you, I get what I want. Oh, good, darling. Uh, hi, Loz. I missed you. Haven't been able to catch you live. I haven't been live as often, guys. Ex-husband had an affair. I know I did it, but then lived together and she's pregnant. I know my... Oh, no, darling. Your subconscious did that. So go to the end of whatever it is you want or go to the end of you being in a loving relationship now, now that you've chosen to feel chosen. Mm -hmm. Be the priority and not be betrayed. Do you have a story that you can't trust people? How many affirmations should I focus on with my mental diet? How do I know, darling? I don't know. I can't give you a blanket number. 25, 5, 2. I don't know. Depends on, can you remember them? If you can't say them off the top of your head, you've probably got too many. Did you see my post about Michael Bublé in the group? Oh, no, what about Michael Bublé? I missed it. I missed so many posts in the group, guys. I'm talking about the free self-concept group or the squad. Oh, thank you, Kay. So, guys, if you haven't joined the squad, my paid Facebook group, it's only 35 bucks, or just come and join the Subconscious Loz free group, and there's so many success stories in there every day. Fears cause this, but shit, it hurts, but I'm persisting. Oh, don't worry about that, darling. Just go to the end of what you want, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Do you have to say affirmations out loud, or can you keep it to yourself? It's just thoughts, darling. They're just thoughts in your mind or out loud. My issue is allowing myself to receive my manifestations once I come in like a self-sabotage. A lot of people do that, guys. They feel they don't deserve them and push them away. They can even manifest money in and push it away. Mm -hmm. Stop that. Work on your self-concept. Guys, the answers you're looking for and the questions you're asking, switch them to what you want. Exactly, guys. How to stop blaming yourself for past relationships and low standards. Look, okay, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Right? You did what you did. Now you know better, you do better. I'm being very Maya Angelou today. Say that. So no coat circumstances matter, right? The love of my life is my second cousin. So that is so, who cares? You can marry your second cousin, can't you? It's only your first cousin you can't marry <laughs> or your brother or sister. Just see yourself married. Yeah, for me, it's I shouldn't even be remembering him going away before, should I? What's this flu? don't really understand that. I can manifest my SP, but I can't keep him in my life. Well, that's your story. So that's an affirmation. You just said, I can't keep him. You're affirming that. Stop affirming that. My affirmation is everyone can't stop looking at me. It's working. Oh, good joy. Loz, can you change eye colour through the law? Someone did in my group once. It's, it's one of the success stories in my group. Actually, there's a few about eye colour. Go and look up eye colour in the search bar. Some of these comments are deaf trolls. Oh, really? Michael Bublé came all the way from the stage to sing to me and look me straight in the eyes. Oh! Love Michael Bublé. What's this? I wrote it Thursday. He messaged me Saturday. We met Monday. Been together since. Oh, it's just How often should you repeat the affirmations? As often as you have to to get into the new state of you. I can't tell you a certain number. That's why robotic affirming can work for you or not work for you. Okay? But I don't recommend it because it's just saturation in your mind however way you want to do it. Guys, I can't give you a number. My money mindset needs work. I get money and won't be able to enjoy, but my mum is so good at enjoying it. I do that too. So I'll make money and not spend it on myself. So I had to force myself to spend it on myself this year. Because I don't spend money on myself. Could you do more affirmation video, please? They're so helpful. Yes, I will, darling. How to get content. I have a new sleep tape out on my YouTube today, guys, called Manifest Love Overnight. It's an eight-hour sleep affirmations tape. It's all about your self-concept in love and feeling lovable. Go and listen to that. Let that soak in overnight. It just came out today. Do you still offer one-to-one -one coaching? Yes, guys. Not as often, but you have to be in the squad. With money, so I don't know where I got it from. Yeah, okay, so get rid of that, darling. Maybe you feel you don't deserve it or you feel you can't spend it on yourself because you're not good enough. Get rid of that. My SP came back two times, but he always leaves because you've got a story you always leave, so he always will. My parents struggled with money. My relationships show the same. What do I do? So stop saying they struggled. Stop saying you'll struggle. Stop saying that keeps happening for you. Think the opposite. Be in the different state of you that isn't that girl. Don't be that girl anymore in your mind. I'm manifesting my SP back and always dream of him. What does that mean? How the fuck do I know, darling? It doesn't mean anything. It can mean something or nothing. It's whatever meaning you give it. Give it good meaning. Guys, stop printing questions. Yes. Religion is the richest business in the world. Guys, they don't even pay tax. There's mine. <laughs> Maybe we should start the Church of Laws in America and then we'll never have to pay any tax ever again. <laughs> Laws Church. Even Chris Jenner's got a fucking church. Why do you think she's got so much goddamn money? 
What is it? The Church of Southern California or some fucking thing. Ah, affirmations are the best way to fix myself concept. They're just thoughts, darling. There is enough money for everyone, guys. Your concept of yourself determines how much you get. Yes, hey. Very honest, this story about manifesting your SP can be quite emotional and lifetime draining. If you're saying it's draining, if you're saying it's going to be emotional, that's how it will be for you. Someone else, Mari, someone else will have a story that it's life-affirming and wonderful and joyous and you've got a story it's all fucked up, so it'll be fucking draining for you. Stop saying that. You're affirming that. I always receive money out of thin air. Three days later, government text saying they owe me money. 2K. Oh, I've been manifesting my SP. It feels so calm and like I don't really care anymore. Is that good? That's called the indifference, darling. That's wonderful. How do you manifest an SP? It's literally half the time all I talk about, guys. Go and watch every single video I've ever made about it. I've got to manifest a specific person playlist on my YouTube. Go and watch every single one. It's about you. They're reflecting you. So what do you think about you in love? If you don't know, go and get my Worthiest Buck for Love course. You've got to step into the state of being with them already and work on your self-concept in love. Work on my self-concept every day, working through not feeling beautiful without fake tan on. Well, just decide that you're beautiful lily white, darling. How to manifest getting a job in another country. Imagine having a job in another country. Imagine yourself walking in the street in that country. Imagine living in that country. Imagine the weather in that country. Imagine telling someone you live there. I told myself a year ago, oh, God, what was that? Church of Loz. Yes, guys, let's do that. I would attend Loz Church. <laughs> yeah. Affirm until your mind feels calm and confident. Yes, do that. Sounds like Craig David. <laughs> What's this Craig David? <laughs> oh, the Craig David, that hilarious. What's the guy's name who does the bow selector? <laughs> the Craig David mask. Craig's out. I saw him once in a in a pub in England, and my brother and I were so in awe of him. We're like, "That's that's Keith Lemon." Uh, what's his name? Lee. Lee, what's his name? And we were so like amazed by him because we love his show. And my brother was like, "Oh my god, did we talk to him?" Well, we never did. And then he knew we were looking at him. He was got all sheepish. Lee, what's his name? What's like Craig David? Okay. I love that Michael Bublé story. Oh, yes, it's great. I've changed my eye colour. I had brown eyes. Now green. Really, Grayson? Oh, there you go. Wonderful. What's this? Lois, I have a fear my SP will cheat. What's my issue? Do you feel not good enough or you abused as a kid or betrayed by someone or hurt by someone? You've got a constant story, someone in your life that loves you you can't trust or you love them and you can't trust them because someone in your life betrayed you that you loved. Have you got that story? Or you've really just got a story that you're not good enough and they're going to cheat on you because you're not enough? My actually yes, guys. My manifestation buddy helped me manifest a job at her company, gives me the stability I was manifesting. Oh, good darling. I dropped out of school. My parents provide for me. I feel like I'm not capable. Well, stop saying that, darling. You might be. Hi, Lois. Love the squad and your self-concept course. The affirmation self-concept course have helped. Oh, good, darling. Good. So, guys, we're going to be ending the self-concept course soon-ish and re-bringing it out again with extra uh, bonus material, all the mistakes I've seen people make with it, um, areas that people need to cover that they haven't after the course came out. That will be leaving in a month. So if you really want the self-concept course now, get it. If you don't want to pay the extra money, otherwise you can just pay for the extension later as well. How can I manifest everyone is obsessed with me? Well, just say they are, darling, but watch out because you might have people fucking like I did when I first started saying things like that, like old men in the supermarket talking to me with my earphones in, driving me crackers. And I was like, fuck are these old dudes talking to me and pulling out the car and talking to me in the street? And I was like, ugh. And then I was like, oh, I was saying everyone's obsessed with me instead of what I wanted. So be specific. I'm manifesting my boyfriend to my fiancé and two days ago he told his friend that he's going to marry me. Ah, Vicky Lou. <laughs> Cannot wait for that success story. If we already purchased the course, will it not be available anymore after the extension? No, 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 you'll still have your course and then the extension will be added to that if you want to buy the extension. You'll still have your courses, guys. They'll all be available. It's lifetime access. It's just if you want to buy the extended part, you can. And you'll get a discount if you've already got the self-concept course. You'll get a So if you want to get the self-concept course now, then later on we'll bring the extension out. Because you're already a purchaser of the course, you'll get an extended bonus. You'll get a, like a discount on the extension because you already have the course. Lois, you are helping us so much change our life for good. You are the best. Oh, thank you, darling. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Uh, please do get in the squad before Fuck the 3D ends on Friday. The next course in the squad starts when? On Monday. Manifest all the things starts on Monday and we're going to have visualisation and scripting prompts for all the things you guys ask me. There's hundreds and hundreds of prompts in the course and hundreds of ways to manifest different things, different ideas I'm going to give you guys. It's going to be full of prompts in there. 
for really specific stuff, house, car, baby, fertility, marriage, engagement, anything you want is going to be in that course. All right, guys, it's only 35 bucks to join the squad. You can get Manifest all the things next week and you're going to be able to get Fuck the 3D if you get in before Friday. It's only $35. Then there's my self-concept course. There's Money Magnet, which very much applies to what this video was about, which is what you asked me to talk about, which was manifesting money. And I will put this on YouTube and you guys will be able to watch it back. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.